Okay, let me start by saying this isn't really something I do. Just testing the waters and seeing how this works. Who knows? Maybe it might become a bigger thing. Well, hi. Uh, along multiple times in my life, I've been asked why I started my artwork and how I got to where I am today. Don't take this so much as a guide on how to do better, but if that's really something you want, I'm sure you can ask your local art enthusiast for more tips. Now, this is more of a personal journey that I'm deciding to share with you. It all started when I was little, like maybe five or six. I forget sometimes how impressionate kids are, uh, and uh, what happened would end up leading uh, me to love what I'm doing today. I would uh, watch Dragon Ball Z a lot coming home from school with my brother, uh, partially because I was into it, but also because I wanted to be more like him, and uh, I, I, I really wanted to try. For one reason or another, my brother taught me how to draw Dragon Ball Z characters, most notably Saiyan characters. My six-year-old mind was blown. You mean I can make my own Dragon Ball Z character? And he can be real? I was floored by my experience, and I drew almost all the time. It wasn't long before my brother taught me his very own style of drawing. It looked like something you'd see in a Sunday paper comic strip, and I loved it. And I did my best to replicate his style. I'm guessing hands weren't really his forte or something, or well, maybe I just never caught on to it. But I never really learned how to draw hands. Up to that point, I just conveniently drew my characters with their hands behind their backs, or in their pockets. In an instance where that wasn't even available, I just drew my character with balls for hands. But I was 9 or 10, so at the time, can you really blame me? Fast forward to my middle school years, I wanted to focus more on drawing, no matter what it really was. So I started something called Manga Magazine, mostly because I was really into manga at the time, and it really rolled off the tongue very easily. I can't really remember what all I included in it. The most I can really remember is this comic strip I added called Comic Time. Uh, featuring characters I had made using my brother's art style. Up to this point, I was pretty confident with my work. I really thought I was an incredible artist, though I honestly didn't know anything, but a few styles and a very small amount of what I could do with said styles. Fast forward now to high school, where my preconceived notions came to die. My freshman year, I had an art teacher by the name of Mr. Capshaw. I was misplaced into his class along with most of the other students, besides just one. It was a third year art class, but I thought it was because I was such a great art student that I was picked for the class. I showed him my notebook with all my drawings and doodles in it, and he was less than pleased, you could say. He tossed my book in the trash and told me anime was never really going to be a big thing and that I should learn real art. He wasn't a terrible teacher by any means, but I felt his methods were a bit rough and kind of dated. We could have afforded to have a teacher that really encouraged different styles rather than belittling them. Obviously, anime never really left my life but I met an incredible artist by the name of Warren in that class. She was the only student in the class that was actually meant for the third year art class, and she was pretty reclusive. I made it a personal mission to befriend her before the end of the year, and it worked, for the most part. It took a lot of time, but we became good friends, and she gave me a lot of tips when it came to art, and it shaped a lot of what I do today. Fast forward yet again, and I met another person that ultimately made me trash my old art style completely, running it obsolete. I met her my junior year. I had stayed back to help stack and put up chairs since my next class was right around the corner. I noticed she was reading a Kingdom Hearts manga. I was surprised. 
I wasn't even aware that there was a manga for one of my favorite game series. I asked her about it, and she explained pretty well. She and I met up the next day to talk some more about it, and I noticed her doodling. I sat next to her for the remainder of the year and watched her constantly draw. I was floored by her style. She taught me how to draw characters in poses, which up to that point all my characters were facing forward, their arms down, and an angry look on their face. It really encouraged me to want to draw more and really improve my skills. Jordan, if you're watching this, just know that I really do appreciate all those times that we spent together. Fast forward a bit more to my senior year, when I was confident enough to start posting my drawings on social media. I created an album simply entitled Artwork. I was still really nervous about it, and I subtitled it with something asking people to tell me why it sucked. And I ended up changing it after some time, because I realized that if I didn't really like my own artwork, I could never really expect someone else to. Partway into my senior year, I again started to get really serious about how I drew, and I started to draw by copying what I saw on screen or from an anime. The references and whatnot really helped me gain a better perspective on bodily proportions and most of all, hands. This went on for a good while before I started to draw on my own. I had a bit of a disconnect when I had joined the Marine Corps. I had spent the next three months actually taking steps backward in my artwork, which took me even more time to get back into my rhythm once I was stationed in Virginia for schooling. It was closer to two years ago I actually got into digital art, using an app I found on my 3DS by the name of Colors 3D. It was a great app that really helped me ease me into digital art. If you want to get into digital art and you have a 3DS, I really recommend it if you can't afford a drawing tablet and compatible software. I've been using it for all of my work up until very recently when I finally purchased my own drawing tablet. And honestly, I'm glad I did. There really was a limit to everything I could do on Colors 3D, and I hit that limit a lot along my journey. And this isn't to say that I'm not improving still. The more and more I draw, I find my style becoming more and more refined and unique to me. So honestly, thank you for staying with me as I explain this hellaciously long story.